I woke up one morning after showering and walked out into the hall by the closet, the one that housed the AC units and vents, and I heard this little rumble like a small twiddling through some plastic bags. Uh, the bags were the ones that I'd kept some nails and staples in for lining my telephone and ethernet. It was a possum, and he was still alive, and his nose twitching. He or she, it, it was still a baby, and it must have fell through a gap from the ceiling and the ventilation duct leading to a vent out of the roof and he was alone no food no water scared i'm sure or perfectly content i'm no possum so it was hard little hard to empathize with its circumstance of being there all alone no home or mother some utility closet in a tool bag in this case it was a it was a pet bag like a, a, a like a petco bag it was it was all cold and I called this maintenance guy in our complex and reported that I had a loose varmint in my household. I mean, I meant no harm. My cats were flipping out, so they were trying to claw under the vents, pawing at the door and chipping away at the wood. Let me just take a little moment here. Um, He or she or it, it was still a baby. It must have fell through a gap from the ceiling in the ventilation duct leading to a vent out of the roof. Now, he was alone and there was, there was no food, no water, scared I'm sure, or perfectly content because I'm no possum so it was a little hard to empathize with its circumstance of being there all alone. There was no home or mother, and there was some utility closet and, and, and some tool bag or pet bag, cold, and I called the maintenance guy in our complex and reported it that I had a loose varmint in my household. I mean, I meant no harm. My, my cats were flipping out, trying to claw into the vents, pawing at the door and chipping away at the wood, trying to get at it, sniffing, hissing, investigating, prowling, hunting, this loneliness, this, this thing that wept on the other side of a door, the innocence, the young life. The very next day, the, this little intruder was, was gone. Supposedly it was taken away in, in cage. The maintenance people came by and they were going to release it into the wild for, for me. You know, and Kenny, the maintenance manager, he told me it would happen. Well, now see, this is the weird part. The next week, get this. Get this, get this, get this, get this, get this, get this. Next week, mm -hmm, I, I, I found another possum. It was the same size, the same nose, identical in nature, but it was dead, I think. I, I, I'm no possum, but I do believe they are known to play dead in self-defense. But this one wasn't moving his nose like last time. It smelled dead. Surely it has found its way or fell through a gap and got trapped that was supposedly repaired in the utility closet. Now, it must have fell down searching, maybe smelled its mother or brother or sister or whoever was first discovered in the cage and I guess released back into the wild. And I figured the dead possum must have starved to death this time or no food, there was no water, and that's what happens to life when trapped in a utility closet and shut off from the wild, you know, behind a closet for too long. So, at least to this little guy, this moment of life, it was abandoned and forgotten or maybe K Kenny just you know flipped out and killed the initial possum and planted it there and never released it to be cruel now I don't know maybe not these are the things that I think of now I pick apart like a detective I analyze to keep me away from the image of her to stop me from remembering something to focus